Hi, my name's Jean Goodall. I was born on April 3rd, 1934. I'm 86 years old. Although I don't look like it, I assure you, I am. For as long as I can remember, I've always loved the outdoors. Because of my passion for nature, my profession is in primatology, a study of primates. The journey I had to take to get to where I am now wasn't easy. One of the main obstacles was that I was a woman trying to do something people didn't think I could accomplish. They thought I was crazy for wanting to talk to chimpanzees. Every problem I faced, I worked through with an open mind, starting as a little girl. When I was little, I lived in London, England, with my mother and two younger sisters. I spent my entire childhood there in London. It's where I had been born. I still live there to this day. On my very first birthday, my parents got me a stuffed monkey that I named Jubilee. <laughs> Jubilee. I didn't only just love nature as a little girl, I also loved reading. I was given a book that I had absolutely loved, called The Story of Dr. Doolittle. In a way, it changed my life. The plot of the story was about a man named Dr. John Doolittle. He could communicate with any animal he wanted to. Within my eyes, he was magical. The fact that this man could talk to animals astonished me, and for the longest while, I wanted to do the same. As I grew up in London, my interests in wildlife only grew. I specifically wanted to enroll myself into a job where I could work with chimpanzees and other kinds of animals while making new discoveries. But there was one problem. People thought I was crazy for wanting to do this. And becoming a scientist at the time wasn't a simple task. I would have to wait for the right moment to do something out of the ordinary. But to start off, I was hired by a man named Louis Leakey to become his secretary. Louis Leakey believed that I could achieve my goal. And the best part was I'd be able to travel to Africa with him. This was my opportunity, the opportunity to pursue my dreams, and I knew it. Lewis had hired me to accompany him to Aldivai Gorge for one of his digs. While I stayed in Tanzania with Lewis, he encouraged me to follow my heart, so that's what I did. I set up a camp at the National Gombe Park. There, I got to study about 128 chimps all at once. As I spent my time there and got to analyze them, I got credited for discovering quite a few things about them, such as that they make and use tools, have social skills just like us humans, and quite a few other things. This opened so many doors for not just me, but science and education for everyone around the world. Lewis was a big part of what got me here today, and for that, I'm grateful to him. But he wasn't just the only thing that got me here. My empathy for all creatures, my perseverance for working through obstacles. That's a big part of what got me here today too. I'm not unique. Anyone could have done what I did. I'm just the one that took the opportunity.